Hi guys, my name is Bina James and welcome to the second part of the Prince and the Pocket Sized Princess quest or like community event thingy-mabob that we are all currently doing. We are doing excellent. My personal, I'll just quickly show you before we do the next part. So my personal progress is I am up to here. I have unlocked full hearts, which means I can do the crackling campfire, light the night among the giant forest life and play majestic tunes so I can build that. It costs some, whatever those flowers are. What are those flowers called? I don't know, daisies? I think daisies and constructor coins. So I can, oh, I can build two things. Okay, let's build the crackling campfire first of all. Get this started. How long does that take? That takes 10 minutes to build the crackling campfire. Okay, whilst that is building, take a look at the community progress. And as you can see, well done everyone, we have unlocked the Stranger Times Chapter 2. So we did Chapter 1, Tiny Travels last time, we will now do Stranger Times. So to do the Stranger Times, we click on the claim, or oh, we win lighting items when we complete this. So congratulations, the Global Sims Free Play community has unlocked a new chapter of the Prince and the Pocket Size Princess story. Complete this chapter to earn new lightning item, lighting items for your Sims homes. Oh, let's see, what do we have to do? Is this a theme park? Is this just fantasy carved out of tree bark? Wait, is that a fairy? What do we have to do? So, task complete. Oh, unlock the next chapter. So, politely meet the princess. The bouquet worked. A winged princess emerged from one of the tree stumps. Maybe your sim can meet her. Have a sim politely introduce themselves to the princess in the magical rainforest. So, we are already at the magical rainforest. Look at this. Okay, politely meet for one minute. There we go, task complete. Now we need to discuss with the princess. My name is Moira, the princess says while fiddling with a leaf. We, um, we don't usually get visitors from the big world in fairyland. Wait, is your sim fairy-sized? Something must be very wrong. Have a sim discuss the situation with Princess Moira in the magical rainforest. Oh no, have we shrunk? My sim's a bit smelly. Discuss situation for one minute. I would like this fairy outfit. We've finished discussing with the princess, now we need to examine the door. Princess Moira explains that before your sim arrived, something disturbed the fairy's magic. Prince Finn disappeared, many lovely spots around the forest evaporated, and some of the doors got sealed shut. Your sim can't believe their ears. Have a sim examine the sealed door. Oh no. We've examined the door, so now we need to offer to help the princess. The door won't budge, and it looks like the forest sprites in the tree stump can't get out anymore. Your sim really wanted a vacation, but they can't abandon the fairies like that. Have a sim offer to help Princess Moira in the magical rainforest. So let's click on her again. We have offered our help. Now we need to examine the book of spells. A tear rolls down Princess Moira's cheek. Aw, and she thanks your sim for their generosity. There's a book of spells on the twig shelf inside the bedroom. Maybe it can teach your sim how to unseal doors. Let's go back in here then. And book of spells to left for another minute. We've finished examining the book of spells. Now we need to make a bloom potion. Your sim deciphers the scribbles on a page made of birch tree bark. It's a recipe for blo a bloom po it's a recipe for a bloom potion that releases magic. Luckily, your sim has been collecting lots of flowers lately, so they have the ingredients for potions at home. Okay, so we need to head back home. So once we are back at home, go ahead and click on a cooker and make bloom potion for forty eight seconds. Bloom potion all done. Now we need to pour the bloom potion on the sealed door. With the bloom potion firmly in hand, your sim can return to the magical rainforest and try to open a door. So let's go back over to the magical rainforest. So whistle your sim over once you are over and we've got an excellent and pour bloom potion for five seconds. I love these little sprites the way they're just skipping around the place. Let's have a look. Oh, reassure a sprite. The door pops open. It did work. A sprite inches out of the room. You're safe now, Princess Moira says. Have a sim, reassure the sprite in the magical rainforest. Ooh. Oh, look inside, there's a, um, what is that called? A cone. <laughs> it's like a Christmas tree. Reassure for one minute. Oh, he was trapped in there all by himself. We finished reassuring. Now read the strange notes. The sprite's fat frown turns into a hesitant smile. They're worried about the magical rainforest, but while they were trapped, they found magic papers that may contain clues to fix the wonky magic. They can't decipher them, though. So we have a stack of magazines in here and we need to read. 
There we go. Task complete. Read the strange notes. Now we need to give the notes to the princess. The scribbles are a mix of drawings, simlish and failish. The mysterious author complains about their tiny life and how things must be better in the big world. Your sim can't read at all, but Princess Moira may be able to. So we need to we need to give the notes to the princess. So give notes, that's over there. There we go, we're giving her the notes. And that is it. So now we need to unlock the next chapter. So your sim dispelled a magical lock on a door, freed a forest sprite and found a mysterious note. They gave it to Princess Moira, who flew away to decipher it. The combined collections of the Sims Free Play community will unlock the next chapter in this story. So, there we go. Congratulations. You have earned lamps and a fireplace from the magical rainforest. Find them in the lighting and living room sections of the home store. So, the other thing that I can build for my personal progress is the tiny tea time. So, we'll go ahead and get that started now. And this takes... How long is this going to take? an hour for that. So in our living room section, we have the rainforest fireplace. Let's, is there a wall we can place this on? Oh, yes, we can place it there. And then in the lighting section, was it? I think it was. Lighting, we have a petal table lamp, which can be placed on the floor. Yes, it can be placed on the floor. But we'll put it up on a table. And a glowing lamp which oh, is a wall lamp, so we'll place that there. Let's take a look at them. Look at that fireplace, wow, let's light it, turn it on. <gasps> Love it, and then this light, let's turn this on. That's cute, I like that. That'd be nice outside, wouldn't it? And then the wall lamp was this candle. That's nice too, I like that. Here has finished, let's take a look, ooh. Got a little guitar and that. Let's get someone over. See what happens. What can we do? I'll wait for partner. Okay. And then, oh, serenade, romantic serenade. Let's just do serenade. He's still dressed in his Halloween outfit. That's awful. He needs to get changed. <laughs> oh, he's, he's dressed no better. He's dressed in his robe or towel, I should say. Aww. Oh look, look at him so needing. It's like on the romantic island, they have that uh, type of thing, didn't they? Our second thing has finished building, so let's take a little look. Oh my goodness, this is like a tiny tea party thing. Wait for partner and tiny tea party. How cute is this? There they are, having their little tea party. He's pouring some tea. Oh, that is adorable. Right, there you go, guys. That completes the second part of the event. My personal progress, I have nearly unlocked the next part. And as soon as we get to the chapter three, the missing love chapter, I will record a video on that. But thank you for watching this. Let me know what you are thinking of this event. I'm really liking it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.